Well, it affects hundreds of thousands of us, and many may not even know it. We're talking about diabetes. Well, Vernon Wheeler, Douglas Park, and Leslie Lam are all here to talk about the tour to cure. Thanks for being here. Good morning, all of you. Morning. Good morning. morning. Aloha. Well, let's talk about um, the tour to cure first. Just set it up for everybody. What this is all about, you were talking about how it had gone away for a little while, but came back a few years ago. Thank goodness. Yes, this is our third annual since the revival of the tour to cure. It's a 75 mile bike ride. It's a fundraising event, and it starts at Kapiolani Community College through the windward side and back. And we have different routes. We have a 10 mile, 25, 50 and 75 mile route. If anything, it, it's such a great way to learn about the, the problems here in our community, but it's also it's just so much fun to be a part of something like this. But uh, as we mentioned, great way to learn. And, and, and Vernon and, and Doug, what's important to point out to people too is not only how many people are dealing with this, many who don't know, but the differences. Because you were saying, Vernon, that you have type 1 diabetes. Yes. When did you find out? And, and tell me about how that's impacted your life. Well, I've had it now for 20 years. Uh, so I found out when I was about 25, and I had to learn learn how to deal with the nutrition, uh, exercise, and medication, and how to balance balance all of it out to make sure that uh, I am responsible in taking care of the disease. And uh, for you, Doug, you, you said you've had quite several years ago yes. you were diagnosed with type two diabetes. Type two. Uh, what happened, and what have you learned since then about how? Well, to basically, uh, it's a illness that uh, is picked up along the way by either living a different style of lifestyle or you shouldn't be living and also the types of foods that you're putting into your system mm -hmm. so that that major difference between type 1 and type 2 is one it's in a system one I picked up along the way and in, in doing so uh, it's a matter of now doing the almost a s very similar uh, things that he would do as a type 1 as I would as a type 2. That's just important to mention, uh, the both of you, two, three years as part of the Tour de Cure. Um, and of course, exercise and, and having the support around you, so important to get past this. Tell us about that experience, well, being part of the Tour de Cure. Uh, being able to exercise is very important with diabetes, not only the prevention, but also the um, maintenance and ensuring that uh, exercise is very important in, in the management of the disease. Leslie, what do you want to make sure to, to get across to everybody? We're talking about, what, 65,000 people, one in three? Infection. Yes, one in three will have diabetes by the year 2020. Wow. And, and it is amazing. But right now, 600,000 individuals have either pre-diabetes or diabetes in the state of Hawaii. And minorities are really high yeah. rate, Hawaiians, Filipinos, Japanese, and Chinese. So really, knowledge is the key. Prevention is the key. So if, if folks come to our website at diabetes.org forward slash Hawaii, they can get a multitude of information. And we want them to come out and register to ride. Sunday, November 1st, coming up soon. A yes. great way to get that support and learn what you can. Thanks so much, all of you, for being here. Thank Thanks you. for being such a support for the